Hello, Ron Mithril here once again, getting back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. We just cleared out Colossus, and that gives us enough gems to get some swimming lessons from Ponzi the Pooh over here. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for a, a small fee? And so, 500 gems to the bear. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Good to know. So now that we can swim, we need to head back to the entrance of Summer Forest. Along the way, one thing I was asked to point out, in the options menu, there is a mini-map that you can use. It shows up in the corner of the screen there. So if you're feeling lost, you can boot that up. We'll just leave it on for the moment. Also, there was something else I was asked to show. Check your guidebook by pressing the start button and choosing the guidebook option to see which talismans you have collected. Fun advice, Ambush. Anyway, we're going to go back to Glimmer real quick. Now, there is not an intro movie for Glimmer, that much I am certain of. I'm holding triangle, nothing is coming up. Hi, However, there is actually an exit movie. The thing is, it's rather finicky about it. You have to go and reclaim the talisman. Until now, I was just using the exit level option from the guidebook, or just going through the stage so fast that I didn't stop to talk to the gem cutter at the exit and get the talisman again. That seems to be important. Spiral. Because yes, we already got the magic pick, but there it is again. This magic and now when we leave... Before this LP, I don't think I had ever seen that cutscene, so nice to know it's there. But anyway, back to the business at hand. Also, I am going to go ahead and shut off the minimap. Personally, I don't really like using it. I prefer to keep the screen uncluttered. But it is nice to know it's there. So, the water's fine. Everybody into the pool. So the glass bottles here, you can charge into them to break them and grab the contents. But here's something worth noting. While underwater, you cannot breathe fire. You'll just release a stream of bubbles that don't do anything. The underwater controls, though, they're pretty intuitive overall. Certainly not as awkward as they could have been. Quite thankfully so. And there's an orb just hanging out up here. And that leads us back out here. So we'll just swim around a bit more. That, I believe, is everything out here. So, in we go. And continuing on. The wall switches here, you can either charge them or flame them. It's a lot easier to do that. I say as I missed the first time. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and 
keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Good to know. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Dragon wand uppies! Dragon wand uppies! Dragon can't have uppies. Not for a while more yet. That's why we cannot 100% summer forest just yet. We absolutely have to know how to climb. And we're not going to be able to do that for a while yet. Also a note about the 1-Up butterflies that I'm not sure I ever mentioned. They also function as a full heal for Sparks. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. I have actually tried active mode before and I didn't really like it. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. I mainly just wanted to go through that conversation for the ending of it. Alright, so we have a wall switch here that activates the gate over there, while also closing that one. But we want to go this way first. you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! And so with that, the ocean speedway's open. Excellent! But now we have a bit of a puzzle. There's a gate here. There's another gate beyond it, with something on the other side. But there's not another switch here. So we need that far gate open. But how to get past that one? Well, let's think around the problem. And so we claim another orb. You again? Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. 400 more gems? I thought a bear market meant you weren't making money. Hmm, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So it's not the port of the Dragon Shores. Aquaria Towers is still a lovely place. Why, I have a home there myself. That doesn't exactly make a good case for it. You're terrible. Terrible, I say. Did I mention terrible? Ah, oh, well. There are some gems over here, though, and we are going to need that portal eventually. but I still stand by the fact that Moneybags is terrible. Hi, Spyro! This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. So, this would be the boss stage entrance, but we're not quite ready just yet. With that, though, we have everything that we can currently grab in Summer Forest. There are ten gems and one orb left, and for that, we need to be able to climb. All in all, though, this didn't really take too terribly long. So, we're not quite done just yet. 
We're going to take a quick refreshing pause, but when we get back, we'll tackle Ocean Speedway. So, back in a moment. And we're back. So, time to tackle Ocean Speedway. Speedway stages in this game work much as they did in the original. You have free flight, and also, if you get on the ground, you have turbo speed. There are four sets of eight targets each. Take out a full set of targets, you get 80 gems. Take out all four sets of targets in one go, and you get a bonus 80 gems for a total of 400. However, there's also a skill point that you can get for clearing the stage fast enough, so let's go for it. The target time for Ocean Speedway is 1 minute 10 seconds. It's pretty demanding. I have a path that cuts it really close. Let's see if we can do this. So the first target would be the rings. Simple enough. Tempting as it is to go into the arches, next we go after the cars. And we go against traffic to make this go a little bit faster. Once you're done with that, get off the track and go after the speedboats. Again, go against traffic. Once that's done, just go for the arches. Now, one thing worth noting. Until you've gotten the all-in-one bonus, each target gives you a slight time bonus because the clock is ticking down. You do have a time limit for this, even beyond just the skill point. Once you've gotten all the targets in one go, then, the speedway just becomes a time trial and the counter starts going up instead. Okay, so, one arch to go, let's see if we did this. Yes, we did. I heard the fanfare. All right, so 400 gems and a skill point. Cut it really close. There's probably a more efficient path, but that's the best one I've been able to find myself. But the thing is, we're not quite done just yet. Each speedway also has an orb hidden in it somewhere, for which you have to complete a special challenge. But first, you have to find the right NPC to talk to. And here, it's over in the crowd. I guess now you think I'm pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. So, time for a race. Though it's a bit of a misnomer. Alright, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. It's not exactly a race, though. You just have to make it through all the rings. The trick is, you have to follow Hunter's path, and it's a little bit erratic. Once he goes through a ring, it turns green and it will shrink on you. So that's the main bit of panic here, is just making sure you follow his path so that you don't miss a ring permanently. Just always make sure you know where he's going. It's not always the most logical path. A little clumsy, but we're still okay. It's very easy to lose track of where he's going. But we're good. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. As you can see, he very clearly got through the last ring before I did, but that's what I mean. It's not really a race. Just make sure you follow his path and get all the rings. But with that, secret challenge, orb awarded. So, we're done with Ocean Speedway. Like Alora said, the speedways do not have a talisman associated with them.
But if we look in our guidebook, it does still at least list Ocean Speedway and that we have 100% completion there. So, check marks for all the different targets, all in one, 400 gems, and follow Hunter. So yeah, there we go. With that though, we're gonna go ahead and backtrack a bit. After all, we still have one gate out here that we haven't gone into just yet. For now though, that is where we're going to cut it. Next time, we're gonna check out Idle Springs. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.